Hey everybody, welcome back to Mildcore Gaming and our playthrough of Shadow Run, Shadow Run Returns. I can say it. I am Yummer, I am bad at video games and speaking apparently. I make mistakes so you don't have to. If that's what you're into, please like, subscribe, follow, share, all that fun stuff. We put out new videos every day. And here we are, uh, we are about to, we need to hire some, uh, some other Shadow Runners. And we're going to head to Mercy Mental Hospital to find out this psychiatrist guy who I believe is our main lead on finding the Emerald City Ripper. And okay, so we're going to go in here. Uh, we can't leave. So all we can do is hire our team and then we'll head out. So uh, we're going to hire a crew. I came in here and I was looking at them earlier, just kind of like, okay, seeing what we got. And... I was going through here and I noticed a familiar name. Where is she? Shannon Halfsky, our shaman friend, and she's no charge. So we're absolutely getting her because she has this awesome, um, this right here, haste two for us as the rigger right now. This is really helpful because when we activate both of our rigs, we don't have an AP anymore. We can't do anything. But this, and actually she got a promotion. She has haste too. So she can give me an AP um, for three rounds. So she's she's totally coming with us. She only uses a pistol, but she also got this slow, which is cool, and her mana bolt. But I didn't realize it last time. She has these fetishes, which summon a little guy so we're definitely grabbing her bam so we've got a shaman and now um and the rest of these guys are shamans this guy though this samurai i was i'm looking at he has 60 hit points only two armor he's cheaper than the uh the nephilim network but i think we're gonna go with him he i i, I like how he looks he's got He's a troll with cybernetics and he's got a, he's currently got a shotgun, but he's got an, a rifle as well. So we're going to hire him and we have enough for more. Now the Nephilim network, these guys are uh, more hybrid uh, and a little bit higher level, but they cost more. So, but the fixer contract contacts are cool too. So we've got me, I've got a rigger, we've got a shaman. We've got just uh, the street samurai guy or tech warrior. Uh, he's got a rifle and a shotgun, which is good. And he's got some grenades. So now I, I don't know if I want to go with a strictly a mage, but I don't know. I kind of want to, I maybe a Decker. Oh shit. They've got an ax. Jesus. Um, I, I kind of want to bring a Decker just because um, in, in case we run into anything that needs to be hacked, they would be able to hack into something. Um, so that's her. Holly won't. I, I'm having a hard time not hiring her just based on that name. Holly won't. Okay. And then we got hip. Hip. Hypo. I don't even know how to say it. Um, but let's see here. He's she's got more armor. What about cyberware? Both just data jacks. Okay. She's more close range. So, uh, yeah, I gotta I gotta go with her. So yeah, we're gonna go with that. And wow. That's actually very uh, reasonable priced. Well, consider we only had to hire two of them, but here we go. We're going to confirm this. We've got we've got us. We've got the uh, the rigger. We've got a shaman who can summon two things. We've got our uh, this guy who is our just our damage dealer, and then our range damage dealer, and then we have our decker who also is melee. So I think we're I think we're covered pretty good. We're going to go with this. 
So yes, we're gonna head to Mercy Mental Hospital to confront Dr. Holmes. So here we go. I think we got a good range of stuff. Okay, Mercy Mental Hospital. The blood you found at the warehouse belongs to a man masquerading as one Dr. Holmes, and you've tracked him to Mercy Mental Hospital, located in the notoriously anti metahuman farmlands of Snohomish. The drive to the hospital is long and unpleasant. Finally, you reach the walled and gated hospital compound. Despite the presence of security, the gate is unguarded, unlocked, and open. No one stops or greets you as you drive up to the large, crumbling building. Gothic ramparts top a damaged roof, cracked walls, and broken windows. All around the building is a, is a lawn gone wild. Only the artificial light from within speaks of inhabitants. You walk up to the hospital steps to confront Sam Watts' killer and bring an end to the em Emerald City Ripper. So here we go. Um, no, I don't need a drone repair kit. I don't need these. Okay, I found out the grenades... I basically wouldn't be able to use them. So I'm going to actually give them. I don't know what her range is. Actually, she's strong. So I'm going to give it to her. Oh, I love her hat. Sorry, I'm just looking at the. Uh, see, I look like Riddick now. Shannon Half Moon's awesome as usual. Uh, this guy, the full, full Monty, I'm loving that look. What is on his back? Oh, that's just his shoulders. All right. He's only got one horn. I'm loving this guy. Full Monty and Holly won't. And she, wait, what is she? Wait, she's only got black hat. Wait, can I? Oh, I can't give her my outfit. Darn it. Oh, I can only give them items. Darn it. Because I, I have my outfit is better than hers. All right. We'll just go ahead and confirm that. I was hoping I could give them like weapons or something. All right. Here we go. Uh, look. Oh, okay. My new guy, my new drone hovers. That's great. Receptionist. Uh, welcome, sir. What brings us, what business brings you to Mercy Mental Hospital? Um, actually, I'm here to see Dr. Ho see Holmes, Dr. Holmes. Ah, a new customer. Please wait in the common room up ahead. I'll notify the good doctor. Mm, hold on. Can we talk to him again? Nope. Okay. Please stay within the cafeteria we're gonna get locked in there can we darn it can't those are locked all right oh what's what's this an automated medication dispensary it doesn't recognize you so nothing happens all right we can talk to a couple people here lorraine Hey, guy, have you seen Josie? Uh, I don't think so. I know, right? I haven't seen him in days. Dr. Felipe told me not to worry about it, but he says I worry too much. But who am I supposed to play chess with? Donnie over there can't suss more than a match four. Uh, uh, Josie sounds quite like quite a guy. Uh, what's he look like? Well, he's big, and he's got... A big gold ring. The doctors let him keep it when he got here. Sometimes he lords it over us, but I'm sure if I had a ring like that, I would do the same. He says that he won it playing for the Screamers in the Super Brawl years back. Um, let's see here. Urban Brawl, huh? That's a rough profession. Not too rough for Josie. He says he went whole seasons without any injuries. He was usually playing Outrider, though. Will you at least help me look for him? I have this key I swiped off the day guard, but they keep a close eye on us. If you could have a peek in the infirmary and see if there's a record or something, he might just be in a cool-off room and they won't tell me. Um, 
Uh, no sweat. I can do that for you. Really? Really? Great. I wish everyone was nice as you. Not like my mom. Whoa. Okay. All right. So we have an infirmary key now. And there's also something we can look at over here. Oh, it's a clock. The clock stopped. Probably displaying a time from around 40 years ago. Oh. Okay. Donnie. Hello, stranger. You look new here. Are you new here? Um, I'm looking for Dr. Holmes. Donnie's face blanches. I don't think you really want that. Not really. Oh, well, what's that supposed to mean? Around here, you don't want to attract the attention of the doctor. You stay quiet, life is much easier. Much easier. Um, I'm Yammer. Who are you? Name's Donnie. That's my name. Donnie. D-O-N-N-Y. I knew I didn't recognize you. I know everybody in this place. Everybody. Well, everybody on the first two floors. Um, anyone I should look out for, Donnie? <clears throat> no, not on this floor. Only us calm ones are allowed up in the cafeteria. If you're violent, you have to eat in your room. Okay, I'm doing a health and safety check for the corporate office. Well, you don't want to talk to me. I don't work here. I'm not crazy enough for that. <laughs> okay, I should go. All right. Oh, that's weird when it... Okay, so we have a key now. So we can go... Sneak over here. Uh-oh. Okay, I thought the uh, receptionist looked at us. Oh, shit. Oh, no. The stench of blood and mold gets even stronger as you move closer to the infirmary. This is not looking good. Let's see here. We got a arm? <clears throat> a severed arm lies next to the zippered body bag. The arm looks human and appears neatly severed at the elbow. There's a large gold ring on the index finger. Its owner is probably the occupant of the bag. Uh, we're going to take the ring. You slip the heavy ring off the cold finger and it feels its weight in your hand. Inside the engraving it reads, Screamers 2048. Well, this looks like Josie. Let's see here. The surgical, the surgical cart is strewn with gruesome tools, motorized saws, and metal devices. You find an unlabeled trivid disc. You have no way of playing it back the disc at this time. What do we got over here? The patient information for Josiah C. Dawson is open on the cyber terminal. Okay. Let's see here. Read the medical history. Uh, Josiah C. Dawson, born 7-18-2015. That was a few years ago. At the time of this recording. <laughs> Weight, 1.9 meters. Uh, no, height, 1.9 meters. Weight, 95 kilograms. Occupation, retired. Allergies, none. Medications, alprazolam, reb... Ray Bexatrines. Reasons for stay? Post traumatic stress disorder. Status deceased. Okay, read the attached notes. Patient had an undocumented cyberware in the left arm, as well as multiple pieces of shrapnel in various locations. Publication, complications would likely arise if transplanted to another host. The rest of the body is in excellent condition and can be used to improve other subjects as well as fulfill some custom requests. Okay. I'm going to walk away. So. Wait. Are you, they. Are they using mental hospital patients? Are they farming them out? That's very disturbing. I don't like that. Let's see here. Let's see if they're going to be waiting for us when we come out. Okay, how do we... Oh, wait. Can we talk to the... 
So I can't talk to him. Oh wait, we can talk to Lorraine and let her know. Um, I'm not sure how to put this. What? Tell me, did he get released? Um, we're going to give her the ring. Maybe you should have this. You mean he... Oh, God. Well, thanks for your help. The noise of a scratchy PA system blasts through the room. Attention! Yummer, please report to the North Hall to meet with the administrator. Okay. Oh, we got two karma. I don't know how many we have right now. Oh, we have two. And let's check real quick. I think I need a lot. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Wait, I don't know if I need to worry about those two. But if I want, I have to raise it up in order to get these. But, um, this one said I got plus one AP bonus. I don't know if that's... For my drones or for me, we'll see in this combat. So we're going to stick with that for a while. Okay. Um, okay, we can't get in there, so... <clears throat> North Hall, got it. Oh, there he is. There's the dude. Where's the creepy elf? Dr. Holmes, the elf standing before you may quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. His meticulously clean lab coat, formal jacket, and old-fashioned bow tie give him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. As you approach the window, he locks eyes with you, smiling a thin, unnerving smile. Good day to you. How can I help you? This is the dude that was at the crime scene. The exact same description and everything. Um, let's see here. Well, we're calling him out. So I'm going to say, Dr. Holmes, I presume you're a hard man to reach, especially considering you're dead. I'm sorry, who's dead? He acts genuinely confused, but he can't seem to drop the smile from his lips. All right, okay. Let's see. Uh, what should we go with? I'm going to say, all right, if that's how you want to play it, Dr. Holmes, I have reason to believe you're involved in the Emerald City Ripper killings. Holmes forces a sigh through the plaster grin on his face. We see so many delusions in this place, and still I can be surprised. I suppose I shouldn't be. After all, this is a place for broken things. It's only fitting that a broken mind should seek us out. Guards! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, two more karma? All right. Ah! Not cool, man. All right. I need to get into some cover. Or let's see here. Uh. Okay, I'm locked in here. I don't want to go in that room. Uh. Oh, I can talk to this dude? Okay, you guys just... What? Nope, switch to your shotgun. Because he's right in front of you. Oh. Hold on. Guard's key. All right. <clears throat> oh, we can go through now. Oh, the reception. Uh, it seems that the good Dr. Holmes is something special planned for you, I'm afraid. I can't let you leave. Um, why would you do this? Good luck in the basement. Holmes and 
Peitzel are waiting. And he's gone. All right. Um, hold on. I'm going to send my send my boys out. And hi, Zionix. I unfortunately don't know what you mean by that. Cause is it Nandi Spanish? Sorry. All right. And then our new, no, he was our new one. All right. Now she will give me a boost. There we go. Yes, uh, I, I agree with you. I am very much enjoying this game as well. Um, he needs to switch his weapon. Get behind that cover there. Um, oh, you, sir, let's see. You're my decker. I don't want you up close. <gasps> my drones did get another AP. They have three AP. Oh, we like that. 31, let's get a little closer. Okay, there we go. Shoot. That's okay, though. And then we got this guy. This is a Class B drone. He can fly. There we go. Are you close enough to get a... Oh, 81. There we go. Who is that big guy back there? Let's see here. Uh, she's got two, but I don't want her up close yeah we'll do that ah oh, damn it all right fine we're just gonna end that we'll go ahead and get behind them there's no flanking but what there we go. Okay, I gotta get my guy moving every time because I've only got three turns. Okay, let's go get this door open. Uh, oh, do I have to do it? What am I? Let's see if there's any over there. Okay, I guess we do have to exit this scene. And then, okay, I gotta get up there. There we go. Ah, uh, the nearby intercom speaker crackles to life. The voice of Dr. Holmes begins to blare from it. Um, attention all personnel, we have a dangerous patient loose inside the facility. Subject is male human, but may be coordinating with other violent offenders. Use all necessary force. Alright. Um, uh, XCOM UO defense, UFO defense. Yes, uh, I am a huge, huge XCOM fan. I, when I started, I, I've, uh, uh XCOM Apocalypse was my entry into the XCOM series. 
to this day. I love it. I still have it and I play it occasionally <laughs> even after I think it was released in 1990. So 23 years later. Yeah, I'm still playing it. All right. Um, oh, no. Turn ended. So I got to turn off. Hold on. I can't turn them off. Wait. What? Oh, there we go. Wait. Okay. Halls of disrepair. As you venture deeper into the asylum, you see that the inside is every bit as bad as the outside. Gone is any attempt to uphold sanitary hospital aesthetics. With peeling paint, cracked floors, and exposed conduit, the, pre the pretense of mental care is shattered. In this modern era, Mercy Mental Hospital is a throwback to the barbaric asylums of old, prisons and torture chambers rather than places of healing. It's clear that Dr. Holmes is spending his money on something other than this facility. You continue on. Holmes can only run so far. Yes, joy of playing them. Thank you, Zionic C. I that's yes, that you nailed it right there. The joy of playing. That's why I these old games, I'm totally into it. Oh, uh, okay, we're just jumping right into combat here. <clears throat> All right. So I am going to take cover first. And there's not a lot of it. So I'm going to go here. And then turn him on. Okay. And then he. Nice. So one more. Very cool. And then you, if you would, hit me with another boost here. There we go. So now I have more AP. Got both my boys going now. Ah. There we go. And one more. All right. There we go. Okay, she's my decker. She stays in the back. Wait, who's this? A violent patient. Well, I'm not going to do anything with him. Please don't run up on us. Come on, man. Don't do this. Well, hold on. She's my, also my whack em hard thing. Let's see, but that's a slash and thrust. The basic melee weapon attack adds one HP damage over the, the weapon's basic damage. Then we have thrust. <coughs> Does additional four HP damage over the weapon's base damage. Ignore the weapon's AP damage. 15% to... Oh, negative 15 to hit. But he's right there. So let's... Dang it. Alright, we'll go with the... Right. Well, no, we'll do it again. There we go. Um. <clears throat> oh, this is me. I have a gun. I will use my gun. Let's see here. Let's move her over. Okay. Send my boys out to explore. No cover down this hall. Not like... Oh! The intercom begins speaking as soon as you approach. Holmes must be watching from somewhere. Um... You don't understand, do you? This is a place for broken things. But only by further breaking them can they be remade. And so we must break you. Yeah, no. 
Okay. Wait. I can give my drone items? No. Hold on, I'm gonna go in here. What is that? Uh-oh. Um, so violent people in there. Let's get him up. He's my tanky guy. And then... This is Droney. Ah! Okay, I have to move up as much as I can before this wears off. Hold on, let's have my drones with these guys. Okay. And they have the same, these drones have the same weapon, just one can fly and the other doesn't. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Let's get him behind cover here. And I'm, g oh, wait, did I have, no. I can go two? Oh, that's because that's not me. And I think I'm going to lose my movement there. Drones, you're up. Okay, we got somebody over here. Are they violent? Shit, they're all violent. I feel bad, but they're going to run up. They're going to come up on me. Hold on. Other girl. All right, here we go. Shoot. Oh, what? Who threw a grenade at us? Where did these people get grenades? something to pick up. I could have sworn I saw Oh, because that's a No, it's not a drone. I could have sworn I saw something, but oh well. Oops, I am out of movement, I think. <clears throat> let's see, let's give me another AP. Oh, I can't. All right. Uh, get you around the corner here. Or actually, no. All my drones to do the scouting. Oh, is that our guy? 
ex surgeon. Can I get? That's two. There we go. And then, okay, that. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna put him out of cover, but he's he's big and strong. He can take it. And then you. You're you're gonna hang. You're just gonna hang out. Ah. Oh, there's more. Okay. Now, give me a give me a boost. There we go. All right. Oh, he hit my AP on this guy. Well, line of sight is blocked. Okay, no problem. Good solid hit there. And you. Nope, oh, shoddy. There we go. What's that? Oh. Oh! Okay, I gotta remember that when he shoots with a shotgun. Oh no, that's looking pretty bad. All right, let's get you moved up. Slowly but surely I'm getting there. Actually here, let's get our drones in here. Oh, that looks like a pile of nastiness back here. Oh, here we go. Something to look at. <clears throat> the mangled, the surgical cart contains a gate key. Okay. Gate key. That should be able to get us through back here. Uh, okay, running back. Oh, drones can't open doors, apparently. Oh, hey, yeah. Oh, Zionix, thank you. Sorry, uh, Argentina, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, man. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, up to here. Okay. Actually, I should have everybody reloading too. Yeah. It takes one AP, but. Oh, wait, wait, wait. there was something else. I just. Oh, darn. Okay. There, we got the door open. On that drone, we can get all the way back out here. Okay. See another, oh. Uh, from another intercom, Dr. Holmes continues. Someone once told me that I was a broken thing, but he also said I could remake myself. He wanted to break me down. So I could put myself back together again. And I did, but only after I broke him. I could remake you as well. What wonderful twisted thoughts must turn in a mind such as yours. But I'm more inclined to use you for parts. Okay, Creepo. Just checking out everything here. Oh, dang! Oops. 
where did where did that guy get a gun? Okay, nope. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hang out here. Let's see. Three. Let's go two. Let's see if I have range on him. Eighty-five. Sure. Can I? Can he do? Oh, he can take an aim shot. There we go. And then she's only got one. You, I need to look at that. The smell of rotting flesh is immense. The remains appear to be from multiple metahumans. Okay. And we already looked at the tray. Let's see. Get her. Oh man, I don't want her in there. But she's got an axe, so. Do you have aim? Nope. One more. It's not going to drop him, though. Ah, we missed. Okay, in turn. Oh! Not good. I don't like you hitting my guy like that. There we go. We have another door. Get him moved up. And you can hit the door. Okay. There we go. Fifty. Sixty. There we go. Good shot. Got him. Nice. He's getting there. Okay, she's my ex person. I don't think I don't think their aim is ready. Yeah, one more turn. Good hit. And then move him in. Much better chance there. All right. Okay, I need a human in here. Okay. All right, looks like. Okay, can't get that far. By all means, come. You have proven yourself a truly fierce specimen. I think I can think of a hundred uses for one such as you. Oh, wait a minute. We just got uh, karma. We have eight karma. So, yes, I need to get their API up. So I do need to get out to there. But for now, we'll do accuracy. And then we're going to have to increase our intelligence. All right. Okay, there we go. And we're going to save here. All right, here we go. Now we're going to go. Shoot. 
Uh, yeah, hold on. This guy. There's something to grab here. Oh, the Trivid player holds a collection of personal diaries. Some of the video files are missing. Uh, let's see here. Insert and playback video number one. Oh, yeah, we found one. Um, Dr. Holmes. Got some cutout chips in the last week. Tried them out on the patients with violent flashbacks, hoping it would at least mellow them out some. It was like night and day. Once the chip was installed, all of their psychotic break triggers were blocked. Miss Yeskin has gone four days without attacking the staff or herself. Okay, uh, number six. I was walking to the organ grinders downtown and there was some sort of event happening at the M Mega Media. They had a puppet there from Maria Mercurial's label with a Persona Fix chip installed, making her an exact doppelganger. They were just using her to hawk some Simpsons re-release of a Mercurial live show, but it gave me an idea. The cutouts, the body modifications, and my healthy supply of patience. I'm perfectly set up to be Benraku Fixer. If I can find a supplier for Persona Fix chips, I can sell a full service Benraku, even program the behavior trees. Number eight, found a buyer for the first Benraku. A man in the Barrens offered me 20,000 new yen for the female troll I've been modifying. He likes them big, he says. All that's left is to arrange delivery. He says he can put me in touch with some more buyers if I'll accommodate special orders. These morons' li lives are already over anyway. The least they could do is line my pockets. So he must be talking about the patient. He's who's the player? That's fucked up. Okay. Okay, I forgot. How do I? Well, there we go. That's how we turn them off. Okay. Okay, now I have AP. Oh, I should have said it first. Oh, well. I think it automatically said, yeah. Um, the Emerald City Ripper. Before you is a medical lab turned torture chamber. The smell of old blood and decayed flesh permeates the room. Gory stains speak of the body. Gory stains speak of the body's fluids spilled without regard for well-being or hygiene. There are bodies, probably former patients, trapped in hideous machines, enduring horrific experiments. The subjects you can see all appear dead. Any that aren't must wish they were. You've chased Holmes into his lair. Just as his face reveals an ugly soul, so does its his safe haven, it would seem. Holmes, Silas, the Emerald City Ripper. The elf is a monster beyond compare. It's time to end this. Okay. Well, here we go. Okay. Let me go ahead and move in here. To, oh, this one has full cover. All right. Oh, he's not even here. <clears throat> Another intercom crackles at your elbow. One solid blow would would offer a few moments of blessed silence. But this is also a rare chance to get a word in on the good doctor, who greets you with more of his chittering laughter. You are a persistent one, a fine specimen indeed. Um, how much longer are you gonna hide, doc? Hide? Nothing of the sort. I'm simply an observation, and what I have next in store should prove most illuminating. Peitzel, so do them. Okay, I don't know who Peitzel is, and I didn't get to my point. Okay, there. Okay, can she? Hit me right now with that. Oh, she can. Nice. Cool. 
We have one more AP. So we're going to activate this guy. All right, now he. Oh, that's Peitzel. He's a bit. He's a big boy. I'm gonna 65. I don't like that. Oh wait, but he can take an aim shot. There we go. And then just regular shot. Okay. Um. Is, can he see anything from there? 50. Whoa, no. Here, let's swap to your rifle. There we go. That's better. Holly won't. Let's get you. Let's get you over here. Oh, no. Wait, that was an AOE melee? Okay. So I need to turn this guy on too. Alright. You know what? I think it's time. No. Let's wait. Here, hold on. Does he have any? Oh, here we go. Good. There we go. Jesus, this guy is tough. Whoa. Can't you do anything right, Peitzel? Okay, we got Peitzel. And uh, you know what? I'm doing it. Nope. Here we go. Let's go with a... Elemental. All right. What is this? No, no, no. We don't want to do that. Stun bolt. Mana bolt. Let's do that. If we can get rid of his AP. Nice. He's only got one AP now. Let's see. Movement. By two. Uh, no, let's just go and hit him. Oh, we can't. Darn it. Um, can we, sh we can't shoot him. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna move over there. Get them there, full cover. And I, oh, shoot, one more round, there we go, let's go there, Jesus, this guy's tough.
All right, well, that's all I got. Um, God, he's really far away. Let's go over here. I don't think I have an angle on him. Oh, I do. Nope, not him. Do you have... Okay, you got a pistol. There you go. We have our aim shot. We do. Oh shit, we did it. I'm gonna save that. Okay, let's go talk to him. Looks like he's wounded but not dead. Holmes drops to the ground, the light in his eyes fading fast, but something keeps the shriveled husk of his soul stuck to this mortal coil for a few moments more. This is a place of broken things. I remake them. She, she asked me to remake her. Huh? He manages one more laugh, his glazed eyes rolling towards the workbench across the way. She was playing both of us. We have one more AP. Then with the final bloody whimper the emerald city ripper breathes his last wait who's she but first we got some ap we have three action pools okay so i think yeah we're maxed out there so we definitely want them yeah i need to get up here to get two plus two ap for the drones because then they'd have four so I in order to do that I need to get my intelligence up that pops it up it's gonna take a lot to get out there though hold on here so nine okay so I want out to there that's gonna take oh boy that's going to be 3 times 9 plus 16. That's a lot. Okay, but they do tend to give us a lot, so we'll see if we can max out. Because I want to give my uh, drones and everything another... They would have 4 API then. That's amazing. And we have another API. So who the hell... Oh, there's people in there. Holmes workbench falls somewhere between coroner slab and medieval, medieval torture device. It is decorated with the many colors of death and littered with the instruments of that trade. To one side, there's a leather bound journal stuffed with uneven pages. To the other is a pro Poxec? pocket secure pocket secretary. Okay. It's like a tablet. It's, it's small screen still glowing. Beneath the bench is a rolled sheaf of papers held closed with a tied length of sur surgical tu tubing. Okay, let's investigate the workspace. The bench is clearly played host to numerous bodies over its lifetime. It includes limb restraints as well as skeletal traction mechanisms. At this table, Holmes likely dismembered bodies or quite possibly put them back together. The tackiness of the blood suggests it has been used relatively recently. Um, let's get in the journal. Leafing through the pages, you find a few intelligible entries. Holmes may not have been a real doctor, but his handwriting, handwriting certainly fits the stereotype. Stuffed in the last few pages is a copy of a disinternment order from a local cemetery with the grave's occupant marked as Melinda Watts. <gasps> I think that's his mom. <clears throat> um, access the pocket secretary Holmes is still logged in granting you access to his currently loaded files prominent among them is a hospital report from a donor program it lists the organs beside the names and vital statistics of the recipients your eye catches Sam Watts name beside the entry for liver 
Also on the list are the Ripper's other known victims, along with several others who may have shared in the same fate. Oh, we just got money. There is also a large sum of new yen, which can easily be transferred to your account. Yoink. All right, uh, examine the rolled sheet of paper. Unfurling the large sheet of paper, you discover a diagram of the human female form, rendered to an impressive level of detail. It appears to be the blueprint for making Holmes's very own monster? Leave the workbench. Okay, that's freaking weird. Um, doesn't look like we have anything in here. Wait, there were people in here. Male Ben Bunraku. His chip slot is still fresh. The open wound pink and wet and lurid. His voice drips innuendo, but his eyes say nobody's home. Well, hello there. Did you come to play? Um, are you okay? How long have you been here? Of course we're okay. We're ready for a little party. You... You, you want to have a little play party with me? By her name. She's assembled a... She's assembled in a standard config. A face of a schoolgirl, body of a stripper. You'll need some thick beer goggles to miss the work she's had done. Okay, wait... The puppet stirs blankly. Okay, that's all we can get out of them. I guess this is it. Oh, nope, there's... Okay, well, these are just... Pr oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Persona fix chip wiper. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Um, doesn't look... Like we have anything else here. So let's go ahead and exit. Oh. Um, <coughs> um, Shannon Half Sky. As you approach the exit, you realize that Shannon lingers quite a few steps behind. You look back. You see that she is half turned, looking pensively towards the horror show of Holmes' lab. Finally feeling your eyes on her, she faces you and raises her head in a proud, almost defiant manner. We have done much good here tonight. We have removed two vile creatures from this world, and so ended a growing shadow they cast upon the city. Our paths crossed and joined, and we did this thing together, but now here our paths must divide. Um, I could use your help with what's coming, and I'm sure I could use your help with what I must do next. What? A distant cry of pain echoes down from somewhere above, and the young shaman pauses to listen to the tortured sound. There is still more work to be done for both of us, but what must be done differs for each of us. I came here to find justice for my brother, and that has been done. His spirit can now find rest. But there are other victims of the Ripper, both alive and dead, who still struggle to be at peace. Many of them are here in this place, filling the halls with their torment. I cannot leave them behind. But the spirits have something else in store for you. A different path. You must finish what you've begun. You must confront the first evil that fostered the one we have just ended. Um, I suppose I can respect that. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Because of you, my brother's killer has met swift justice. And justice of the only sort such a man as Holmes deserved. Death. I will now set to the task of healing those he has left behind. For every madman we face here tonight, there are a dozen innocent souls crying out in need. The spirits of the departed will also need help in passing, or else I fear they, become, they may become like those we met in the hangar. They all deserve my help. Uh, and what about Lone Star? They can't be far behind. When they enter that room back there, they will have no thoughts other than the thoughts of promotion. With the Ripper in hand, my brother will be forgotten, along with all the other victims. But so too, so too will I. There will not be a problem. Whether that's true or not, Shannon's confidence and very presence seem capable of making it true. 
Good luck to you, Yummer. I hope you find the same justice for your friend that I found for my brother. Um, I'm going to say I appreciate that, and good luck to you. Okay. So she's going to stay, and yes, we will. Loose ends. The ride back to the seamstresses' union is quiet compared to the pandemonium left behind at Mercy Mental Hospital. Lone Star Squad cars pass you on the road, sirens blaring. No doubt in response to the aftermath of your showdown with the late Dr. Henry Holmes, the Emerald City Ripper, the man who violently re repossessed the internal organs of Sam and Jessica's mother, Belinda Watts. And although the killer is dead and his grip on the city is broken, it's clear he wasn't working alone. There are loose ends aching to be tied. The taxi turns into Redmond Way, cruising past the now familiar landmarks until the seamstresses' union, in all its decadent, seedy glory, materializes between swipes of the, of, the, of the overworked windshield wipers. Time to evaluate your next move. All right, here we go. The union is quiet this afternoon. The salarymen and wage slaves haven't migrated from nearby offices and suburbs to dabble in the exotic yet. Okay, let's talk to Johnny Clean. <clears throat> Johnny Clean is talking with Cherry Bomb and Miss Kubota when you walk up. We were just talking about you, Yummer. And the Emerald City Ripper. Ironic that you tracked a serial, serial killer to a mental hospital. <clears throat> Johnny Clean told us where you were going. Oh, May. We have been waiting for your return. Okay, I don't have the Shadow Runner etiquette, so I can't reply to that. Um, ah, uh, you seem pretty interested. Of course we're interested. We each have our reasons for wanting the killer found. Sam was a regular here and his loss has been felt, regardless of his shortcomings. The whole sprawl has been shaken by these killings as well, the randomness of them. No one knows if they will be next or what the killer might take from them. I admit, the killings have hampered business as well. I'm sorry, but it's true. It does not help that Sam's body was found down the street from here. Even my regular customers who, who have been loath to venture out with a killer on the loose. Now tell us, Omei, did you find the person responsible for the Ripper murders? Um, I'm going to say not exactly. I got the bastard who wielded the scalpel, but whoever's pulling the strings is still out there. Someone's pulling the strings of a serial killer? It sounds more complicated than that, I, su I suspected. It sound this sounds more complicated than I expected. <clears throat> suspected. Ugh, words. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I'm not going to go weird on it. I'm going to say it is. The head of the asylum was killing specific people to harvest specific body parts. All of the transplanted organs came from the same donor, Melinda Watts, Sam's mother. It looked like he was putting her back together. The three are silent as the news sinks in. So Sam had an organ transplanted from his mother and then the Ripper killed Sam and all those other people just to reassemble Sam's mother? Um, looks like it. I sense a cause and effect in this. Coyote and Jake Armitage just left here to attend Sam's funeral. I'm told there will be a re-internment ceremony for his mother as well. Um, his sister re-invited me for the funeral, or invited me to the funeral and the re-internment when I met her here. Think his sister Jessica had something to do with it? She might have. Hang on, I saw Sam's sister when she was in here the other day. She was as corp as they come, but I can't imagine a, imagine a lady like that behind a series of murders. There's got to be something else going on. <clears throat> it is clear that you must go to the funeral and talk with Jessica Watts, Yammer. Um, and I'm going to say, and I need to pay my respects to Sam. Of course. Miss Kubota raises her hand and the conversation stops. Wait, before you go, there is one thing you did not tell us, Yammer. Where is the Emerald, Emerald City Ripper now? Uh, decomposing. She nods in satisfaction. Hi, that is good. Okay. Plan your next move. 
Um, let's see if we got what we're going to save because that was a lot of dialogue. And now we're going to go see if there's anybody to talk to and perhaps buy stuff. Oh, Mr. Clue. Hey, bud. How's it going? Welcome back, Emmer. Um, I like calling him uh, Big Guy. So, um, thanks, Big Guy. Anything new on in the rumor mill? Most of the rumors are about you and what you've been doing. Word around here is that you were closing in on the Ripper when you last left. Dare I ask how that went? Um, Sam's killer has met his end. Sam would be grateful, I'm sure. And yet your shoulders are no more relaxed, and you still survey the room like a man who has yet to return from war. This isn't over, is it? Uh, the Ripper may have been killing on someone else's orders. The big guy sighs. I was hoping this would soon be all behind us. The Baron has a short memory, but for wounds such as these, it makes an exception. To see this prolonged, I fear for how it may forever change the landscape. Gangs have already started to take advantage of the chaos left in the Ripper's wake, and that only serves to destabilize what semblance of order there was. Um, let's see here. Uh, and that only serves to destabilize the semblance of order that, that there was, paving the way for the megacorps to make land grabs and push for sinless and pour sinless further into the fringes where the dangers are greatest. Sooner or later, even the Union could be threatened. Um, good thing the Union's got you, then. Good thing we've got each other. Take care, Yammer. I like Mr. Clue. He's awesome. All right, let's head down. Let's see what we got downstairs. Let's see if Mr. Um, I forget his name. Gruberman. Got anything new? On his workbench, Buster currently has a mil-spec shotgun fully disassembled with its parts neatly arranged. He lovingly massages each piece with a microfiber cloth coated in some kind of gun oil or polish. Whatever the stuff is, it leaves the pieces shiny, brilliant, and pungent as hell. Got some catalogs. Just come in if you might be interested in an order. I can get gear shipped overnight from the manufacturer, though I won't lie to you. You'll be paying for the convenience. Otherwise... I got plenty of the usual bang bangs waiting for a good home. What do you say? Um, hold on. What's the new hotness when it comes to dealing with damage, Buster? Well, there are two schools of thought on the matter. There are those who swear by their smart guns and such because they make the weapon more accurate and thus more deadly. Then there are those who subscribe to the bigger boom theory, putting all their money on the biggest and baddest rounds. But if you ask me, it's all situational. That's where the real advances have come. You can pack a panther assault cannon, but it won't do you no favors if you're fighting in a basement hallway. By the same token, a room sweeper might carve up, carve up your average pack of gangers up close and personal, but its range is a big limitation. Military life never taught me that. It was dealing to runners like yourself that afforded me this epiphany, and you, you've got to be ready for anything. On that note, might I introduce you some custom mods or perhaps some specialty grenades? I'll take a look at what you got. Okay, let's look at the drones. All right. So the Robo Dog, Med Kit on Wheels, and then the Smoker. I can afford them both, so I'm going to buy them both. So we're going to take that. And let's see here. Do, 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 drones. Okay, the robo dock is it let's try the robo dock we'll try him out those are class the class b's so we'll confirm that wait i want to look at your <coughs> see consumables concussion grenade drone repair kits what do we got for weapons oh yeah, I'm not going to buy a weapon because I really don't yell them, use them. Wait. Nothing right now. We have 4,000? Wait, does he have... 
I don't think he has any new. Merman has any new outfits. I think we've got the highest right now. Yeah, we got Golden Boy. So we're good there. All right. And then let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, shiny. Hold on. Can I look at my drone? All right, hold on. I wish it gave better descriptions. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to the Cyberdoc. Dr. Castle. Uh, Doc Castle looks to be in better rested and in better spirits than the last time you saw her. She's also clearly had a shower and a change of clothes, maybe even some sleep. Her eyes are sharp when they turn up from her work to greet you. Welcome back, Emmer. Stay all in one piece. Oh, still all in one piece, I see. More is the pity for me, but I'll still take your money. Perhaps a full physical is in order, or we, or we can call it a medical consultation. That's where I roughly determine the odds of your survival based on your professional proclivities. It comes with a lollipop. Um, so what will it be? Uh, actually, I'm curious to how many patients he's lost over the years. That's really a weird question. Dr. Castle sets her down her work and fixes you with a hard look. Her expression normally falls on an axis of varying degrees of indifference depending on her level of tiredness. But now it has shifted to over something decidedly darker. Is this morbid curiosity? Yeah, it's kind of a weird question. Uh, yeah, um, I didn't mean to upset you. It's fine, and I have no reservations about answering the question. To give you a hard number is difficult. There are many who I would have considered patients that never made it home. And so I suppose one could say they died while under my care, though not as a result of it. But the number I think you want is the number of patients who died on my table, and that number is six. Six who I was unable to save spread across a 13 year career. And I remember each one, each and every one down to the smallest detail, including the moment where I realized I could do nothing more for them. I would argue that four of those six were beyond helping from the moment they passed through my door. The fifth died as a result of complications while installing a stolen piece of experimental software, which I had cautioned against using. And the sixth, Entirely my fault. I made a mistake. I can't claim I was overtired or inexperienced or distracted. I simply made the wrong decision and a young man died as a result. Um, I'm sorry, Dr. Castle. She picks up her tablet and removes her work. Yes, well, will there be anything else? Cyberware. So, I have two essence. And... I think I'm going to put it in the l another leg. Wait, why can't I do these? Oh, that's the dermal plate, and I can only do that once. Why can't I do my arm again? Mm. Yeah, we're going to do a cyber leg. Wait, I can't. Oh. Okay, so. Oh, darn it. It's only left leg? Why? Why can't I put it in the other? Then I kind of really can't. Huh. And that's body. So here, we'll do the eyes. Yeah, 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 we already read that. Okay, so let's see, let's check this again. So at this point, I have one. Wait, I don't have any arms. Why can't I do an arm? Oh, because arms take 1.5. Wait, what am I... This is the same thing as I have. Okay, that's weird. All right. 
Never mind. We're good. Okay, and we're going to save. And then we'll head back up now. But I don't know what I'm... S oh. I got to head outside. Okay. Just a second. Um. All right, let's head out. Let's head out. Oh, we're heading to the funeral by ourselves. Okay. Family debts. The sun has nearly set when you reach Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Its cemetery, dilapidated and overgrown, sits atop a small hill on the outskirts of the city, a somber enclave of the dead overlooking the sprawl of the living. The Seattle rain uh, continues unabated and lightning appears over the mountains, exposing the mountain landscape and staccato pulses of stark flashes. You walk the gravel path to the gates of the cemetery. Up ahead, you see Coyote and Jake standing by the gravesite along Jessica Watts and another mourner, a beautiful elven woman in a six-figure outfit. Whatever Dr. Holmes was up to at Mercy Mental Hospital, the answers lie here with the reinterred body of Melinda Watts, the recently deceased body of Sam Watts, and with those attending them, this, uh, attending them at this ceremony. Um, doo -doo -doo, yep, that's it. We don't have anybody else. So here we go. Okay, sorry, I gotta get a drink of water real quick. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, zoom in a bit here. <clears throat> Okay, so this is Coyote and Jake, <coughs> Priest, and that must be the Elven Lady. So let's talk to, I think this is Jessica. <coughs> the mourners stand graveside, graveside, listening to the Catholic priest's words of prayer and solace. Jessica's face is filled with relief as the last of her family is laid to rest. Father O'Malley. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Lord, receive the souls of Sam and Melinda Watts, mother and son, to live forever by your side. Amen. Thank you, Father. I know that my mother rests easier now that she's finally in the parish cemetery. I'm sorry for the recent loss of your brother, but I am glad that reinterring your mother's body here has brought you comfort. She loved this parish so. She opens her hands to the elf standing across from her. Thank you for coming, Lynn. Your support has meant the world to me. Now I can live again with my new family. What? The woman is a classic elven beauty, confident, poised, expensively dressed. Of course, I'm glad this ancient ritual brings you some measure of solace. I hope you'll be able to put all of this behind you now. She's joining the Brotherhood cult. <sighs> yeah, Jessica speaks to the rest of you. Thank you all for coming. I didn't realize Sam had so many friends. I appreciate your support and your friendship with Sam. I saw him out the night he died. Only fitting I see him out today. Sam may have had his problems, but he was our friend, part of the Union family. He will be missed. Miss Watts, family members, and friends, thank you for attending the service. I suggest we don't linger long. The cemetery isn't safe after dark. What? Thank you, Father. We'll just be a moment. Um, uh, Miss Watts, I know this isn't the best time, but we need to talk. She's guarded, but playing polite. Very well. Let's not keep Father, o let's not keep Father O'Malley. Thank you, child. Feel free to call on me as you need. The priest clutches his Bible to his chest and then turns toward the neighboring church. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna save again. Let's go talk to Jessica. Like, uh, okay, what's going on? Father O'Malley leaves, granting you an opportunity to speak with Jessica, but it's hardly a private conversation, as the elf, Lynn, has chosen to stay and support her friend. As it so happens, Jake and Coyote have also lingered, lending you support, too. All right, what would you like to talk about, Yammer? Um, let's see, let's start with your mother. Did you know she was an organ donor? <clears throat> Jessica's demeanor turns oddly cool and stony in response to such a simple question. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Then, can you explain how her body parts made their way into a half a dozen recipients? You don't know what you're talking about. I know Sam helped your mother save lives through that donation. Her jaw clenches. She wasn't a donor. She was a victim. A victim of my brother's greed. He took from her, desecrating her body. All to benefit himself. She never would have agreed to such a thing. Uh, not even to save the lives of others? Lives like Sam's? Cracks are starting to appear in Jessica's carefully crafted mask. Sam destroyed his own liver pursuing oblivion. That was his choice. Your mother's gift meant a second chance for Sam. It was not a gift. It was stolen, and I wasn't about to let him destroy what little remained of her with his vulgar appetites. And so you hired Holmes to get it back? Jessica's eyes burn with righteous anger. Gone are any attempts to hide her guilt. Dr. Holmes made my mother whole again. He made it possible for me to place her to rest and say goodbye. He killed Sam and half a dozen other, other people whose lives had been saved by your mother. She snaps. Those people are scavengers, ghouls. They deserve to die for desecrating my mother's body. And poor Sam, he was drinking and it was his drinking and debauchery that drove my mother to the grave, as sure as if he had murdered her himself. My, my mother deserved honor and dignity. I gave her that today. She's finally whole again with a proper Catholic burial. Those ghouls who stole her organs, including Sam, have paid the price for their sins. The beautiful elf breaks in, the essence of calm. Jessica, that's enough. We have business to attend to. My old family is dead and buried where they should be. They can't taint my new family now. They can't corrupt my children. I won't go through that again. Jessica, we need to go, now. She presses a button on her calm link. She sees at you. What happens now is on your head. If you had just walked away when I told you, McCluskey would have eventually found Holmes, collected his lieutenant's badge, and closed the case. But you had to keep digging. Now, you and your friends have to die. Let their blood be on your hands. Oh, no. All right. What says, ma'am, we received your code. Only three? No problem. All right, here we go. As they run away. All right. Turn him on. And then we're going to turn him on. And now I could do things. Because I should have taken cover first. Okay, this doctor drone is drone mortar. Let's see here. Hold on. I want to see what that does. That's Overwatch. Okay, that one, well, that's fine. Ow. 
Oh, we got more back there. Alrighty. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, let's go over here. Oh, they have three AP too. That's nice. Damn it. Oh. Ball lightning. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh no, out of range, out of range. Darn it. Okay, let's get him. Supposed to be a healing. Oh, a healing. Wait, class B drone. No, that's right. Wait, that was eighty-four percent. Are you kidding me? Damn. Okay. Oh wait, we got one more. Let's see here. Okay, now let's try this. Ooh. do that. Oops. Oh, I did that bad. I did, that was a bad thing. Okay. Uh, we need to find out where Sam's sister might have gone. Maybe one of these guys can tell us with a little encouragement. All right. I'm not in a good place here. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Can I hit? Hold on. Do you have any grenades or anything? She does! But she can't use it. Alright. That works. Nice. I love my little journey. Oh no. I didn't see that one that close. Darn it. That was a big hit. That's oh oh no 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 no. Don't shoot at me. Come on, come on, come on, no no don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. 
Okay, I need to heal myself. Damn! Out of ammo. Okay, punch him. Damn it. Okay. One more. Can we cast? You know what? Sorry, I need it. There we go. Oh, good. She missed. That's we already read that. Ah, okay. Here we go. We got this. Oh, damn it. Okay, um, let's go talk to Jessica. Sorry, I'm just gonna cruise through this. She's no organ donor. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get myself in a better position. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Ah. Hold on, let's go with an aim shot. There we go. Okay, that worked. Close enough to get... Good coyote and accuracy boost there.
Damn. Was hoping to finish them off there. Uh, let's see here. Don't want to do that yet. You know what? We're going to end the turn there. Team B, move in. Okay, we need to find out where the Sam system might have gone. Maybe one of these guys can tell us with a little encouragement. And, you know, we're going to save here if we can. Yep. All right. So let's see. I've got a 71 on this guy. Shit. Hmm. There we go. Can't hurt him. 71 on that one. There we go. to hit my guy okay ball lightning now there we go Probably too far away. Oh, hey, got him. Okay. Ooh. One shot. And then I'm going to have to reload next turn. Let's see here. Let's get him with this fireball. Shit. Um, let's give, I'm going to give aim to Coyote. And then, you know what? I'm going to put him in Overwatch. You'll hear scratching coming from a crypt? Oh, cool. That worked. Out of commission. Oh, 
Uh, looks like we woke up the neighbors. We've got ghouls incoming. Hey, Emmer, maybe we can use this to our advantage. How? Okay, he's out. Okay. Oh crap, there's more. I don't think... Wait. I have 3 AP. Oh, I got it. Okay, I dropped him. Scratching coming from that place now. Just want to make sure that I think there was something over here I could pick up, but I'll have to remember that after the fight. Oh, I should have had a reload, darn it. See what was back over here. Yep, there's something there. All right. So actually, can you do that lightning ball again? Damn it! I didn't mean to hit Coyote. It's a summons a four a force four abomination elemental. The fetish is consumed when used. So we're gonna send this to our stash. Cause if we need to, we can sell it. Or uh, when we run with the shaman, we can um, give it to them. All right, let's 
Check around. Oh, there's something we can pick up. Grenade. We'll send this to the stash. And then... I saw something else. I think it was up here. Combat stim. Send it to the stash as well. I think... That was it. And why are there tents over here? Because people are living here. Okay. We're saving. Come on back. Can't go in there. Whoa. People are living here. All right, let's head out. Oh, look at me go. Oh, there's one dude left here. All right, here we go. <coughs> you listen as the sounds of gunfire and spell bursts fade away from the silence of the dead returns to the cemetery. The man is beyond healing. As you look down at him, you notice the quality of his suit and shoes. This isn't a runner, and he's not from the street. Jessica Watts, she hired you. Where can I find her? You get nothing. He convulses and dies. We don't know each other too well, but it seems to me that you need to find a better group of people to associate with. Uh, where did those guys come from? You didn't recognize who the elf was? Uh, no, who was she? She's Lynn Telestrian. Super rich and super into the Universal Brotherhood. She's a major spokesperson for them in Seattle. Hmm, Jake grabs the dead man by the throat. At first it looks like he's trying to kill him again. Then you notice he's feeling for something under the skin. Yep, he's got a corporate ID chip. <clears throat> you watch as Jake pulls out his modified PDA and slots the chip. Mr. Wiley here was with Eagle Security. They work for the UB. That must have been Lynn Telestrin's security detail we just chewed, chewed through. If she's protecting Jessica, they'll be inside the Universal Brotherhood. If you're going to hit the Universal Brotherhood, I'm coming too. That psycho just admitted she had my friend Sam and a lot of innocent people killed so she could put her dead mother back together. This is totally slagged up. Plus, she and her elf buddy Lynn just tried to geek me. They're going to hurt for that. Suit yourself, lady. I was only stopping by to pay my respects to Sam. Merc hit squads, the Universal Brotherhood, not my scene at the moment. I can call up some of Delilah's runners if you want to go there now. Let me know what you decide. Okay. Leave the cemetery. Oh, we got eight karma. Hold on. Okay. So right now, we can increase this, but I have to actually do it. So we go here, and then here. Now we confirm that, that leaves us with one. And we'll be able to do this, which will give the drones plus two dodge. And then, okay, so we need nine times three is 20 something. 27 plus eight plus eight. So we got a lot more to go. But once we get that, my drones will have four AP, which is awesome. Leave the cemetery. Wait, can we talk to talk to him? Hey, wait, wait, come here. What are you? Get back here. All right, the brotherhood probably retains mercs like the ones ju that just attacked us for the security detail. 
You're going to need a full team if you're heading to their chapter house. I can arrange for some Delilah's runners to meet you there if you want to go now. Oh, no. Let's stop at the Union first. I'll hire runners there. Where's the... Oh, here's the exit. Yep. Do I have any more money? I've, I've got 4K right now. Moving parts. You put the pieces together. Jessica Watts was reassembling her mother, Melinda, gathering her missing organs to allow Melinda a decent burial. Organs Sam sold for a quick buck after her death. The ghoul attack after the ceremony didn't appear to be part of Lynn Telestrian's attempt to get you out of Jessica's way. They were just more victims of Magic's helter-skelter return to the world. Lynn's well-armed security unit was a different animal entirely. You head back to the Union to resupply, resupply and rearm. Whatever Lynn and Jessica are involved with, it appears to be a large operation, and the trail leads to the Universal Brotherhood. All right. Okay, how much do I have? 3,000. All right, Mr. Delilah, do we have any freebies? The higher team and head out. Let's see. Okay, we already got Coyote. Any freebies? Nope. Whoa, they are spending, man. Okay, she's... All right. So uh, we need... Uh, we want a shaman. You know what? The Nephilim is nice and high level, but... Wait, where's my other... Riggers, shamans. Okay, let's go with... Oh, wait. Um, whoa. They've got a lot of elementals. Ooh. Level three haste. Kind of want to go with Maya Lee. Yeah, we're going to go with her. And then... Let's see. Let's go. Do we have a Decker? Can't afford the Riggers. That's okay. Decker. Hmm. Wait, Holly won't. We like Holly won't. We'll go with Holly won't. Cause she's got that axe. Ooh. That leaves us with just like 300 million. All right, towards the Brotherhood. It takes nearly an hour for the taxi to make its way from the squalor of the Redmond Barrens across the bridge to the Seattle waterfront and the Universal Brotherhood. The building is a pre-crash brick job with a fancy new fa facade, facade that sports neon highlights and an enormous set of glass double doors. Through the windows, you can see activity within, smiling and happy disciples shuffling along in beige pajamas and slippers. A greeter stands outside the front door, gently attempting to entice the misbegotten and the curious to enter and take their first baby steps towards Brotherhood. Pike Place Market is usually empty by now but you step out of the cab to the sounds of an excited crowd Ooh. okay so we're we're good all right let's see can we okay we're gonna give her this that we found Okay, that's good. 
and Holly. Let's see, we're full up. Actually, we. Wait, where's oh? We're gonna get rid of this grenade, and then we're gonna take the jazz. <coughs> All right. That leaves us with, yeah, we're going to give her grenades. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we are. Oh, they've got a little drone. Okay, so, yeah, I'm down to... A mm, little over 300 million. We are going to go and end the session here before this looks like it might be the final battle here. So, yeah, um, we're going to end the session and next time we will confront and or storm the Universal Brotherhood. So, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, follow, share, all that fun stuff. We put out new videos every day. And in that regard, I hope you are having a great day wherever you are. And we will see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye now.